Okay, we got a lot going on here today. Um, thank you for joining me. It is uh, December 16th. I don't know, time is just going by so dang fast, okay? Um, please grab a pencil because I'm gonna be throwing a lot of information at you and or your calendar because we have a lot of plans for you at um, on my lives, which of course is an extension of thequiltshow.com. Oh, and I see that my little things up there aren't showing. Yes, this is an extension of thequiltshow.com. And uh, here we are. Can you guys believe it? I think I started this like last March. And um, yeah, we've made a lot of fun projects together. Today, we are going to be wrapping up the stars behind us. And so you guys have sent some more pictures in and I'd like to take a look at those. To, so just to keep you guys honest, okay? And note, over there, I'm not letting you see what's going on. <laughs> I'm being a meanie on purpose, just so you know. Enough to tease you, okay? So let's go to Barbara's faces. Let's do that. Look how cute that is. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm starting to really pay attention to our, our, is how people are handling the hair. Now, my guess here, Barbara, is that you are a musician, and I believe I see up there a little pink ribbon hanging in your hair. So that tells me that you might be, well, a breast cancer survivor. Um, I love, I love beyond measure, measure, haha, music, <laughs> the, um, the hidden meanings that are in all these things that were just wow. Okay. So this is S bell and actually she's made, she's made these for her girlfriends who are not quilters for, um, Christmas. And my guess is that you guys go on trips together. See, I'm making up all these stories now. <laughs> that you guys go on trips together. You do super fun things. And I believe, too, that you said that um, you hadn't even done yours yet. I have to tell you, I am addicted to these faces myself. And in fact, at the end of this, I'm going to open my box for Craft Napa. And one of the classes I'm taking is with Libby Williamson. And guess what we're doing? Faces. <laughs> So, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Um, DJ, D DJ. Now, she said it's not being, it's not yet sewn down because Christmas projects interfered. I still have one Christmas project I have to do. And it's, I don't even want to say, okay? But I've got other stuff going on. I got to finish that thing. And maybe today I'll commit to doing that. It doesn't take that long, but nonetheless, I've got to get it done and wrapped. Um, I love this and all the Snoopies and I wonder what the story is with you and Snoopy. Hmm. When John and I were dating like 45 years ago, we were in Carmel and there was a Charles Schultz original Snoopy drawing and it was $15 and we didn't buy it. I mean, how stupid was that? Well, Helen is feeling DJ's pain, so she's going to get Grant you a class extension. <laughs> you said your <laughs> you said your face was not completed because of Christmas project interference. Being on Santa's nice list, and since you are making Christmas projects to bring joy to others, you are granted a class extension and will be included in the class photo. Santa thinks your face is beautiful. And so does Helen. Helen, oh were you like a principal or something? Or a librarian? Can I just laugh? You make me laugh and I need to laugh like we all do. Again, these are all in the forum. Oh, and Mary Kay did something really good. At thequiltshow.com, there's a forum. And now if you go there, there's one area that says Alex's classes. And then there's another area that says D's classes. So she's really cleaned that up. Thank you so much. Okay, this is jo Jopa, Jopa Girl. And there's a lot of hidden meaning in this too. 
but I believe she said she was a redhead or something before she went gray. So she included that. And then the hat had to do with her father. So, you know, these will be treasured. And I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I know a lot of you are going to make multiples of this. Okay. Now let's get into stars and we have Mike. So Mike, went and did one giant star and I didn't really understand the scale of it until you could see his little head popping up there. So I think that's really cool. And I like how um, then you then adjusted the size of the holly, the size of the berries and all that so that it didn't look awkward like staying small. And that's why people, God made copy machines that you can increase and decrease just like that. So Mike, thank you so much for sending that picture. Oh, I need to tell you right now that John is leaving. So if you have questions, hang on to the end. All right. He's got to go. He's gotten issues in his back and he finally has been trying to get into this doctor forever. And so he's going there. So if you have questions, um, again, we'll do that at the end. And also, um, yeah, that's what I need to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miss Ray's. Okay, she didn't get to our holiday uh, project, but this is something that's taken her, I think she said two or three years to make. But what I want to point out is that the star, the doodads that are coming off of it, they're crystal buttons. I think she might have even said antique. So, you know, take advantage of your complete stash, okay, of everything. Okay, and then Lori Ann, Lori Ann. She couldn't finish because her machine broke. So she is high and dry. Or Lorianne. Lorianne, this is why you have multiple machines. If you've ever needed an excuse to go buy another machine, don't waste the moment. This, <laughs> this is it right now. <laughs> we must be always armed and prepared as sewists, quilt makers, and all of that. And this is Suji's. Suji, you finished. Yay. Actually, somebody did it. I'm so happy. And um, I like how you did the straight line quil quilting in this, how it looks like you segment segmented it and then um, did it in four, you know, in four sections. And it just looks really good. Congratulations. And I like that you have the English versus the, and the Hebrew on there. So that for those of us who do not speak it or do not have a complete understanding of Judaism, you're helping um, teach us. So thank you. So again, get a pencil because I'm going to be giving you an infomercial on what's coming up. But let's talk about the quilting on the um, holiday quilt behind me. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't do it. Diane Schweikert did it, okay? Uh, somebody was complimenting me on it and I wish I had done it. I wish I could take the chops. She works on a long arm, all right? So let's take a look at the overall. This is really, very simple and straightforward. In a sense, it is a variation on the straight line quilting, okay? And um, I love it. In fact, many times now that's my go-to when she does the quilts because I think it's so completely lovely. But then I always, if I have something going on in it, I like to, if possible, do something in the border that's different. And look what she did with these swirls and all that. Um, also note that on the leaves, she did a um, swirl down it. I feel very strongly that I want equal amount of quilting over the surface. And you'll learn, you'll learn from different people and they will teach other things. Cindy Needham likes to have things that pop up a little bit. So here she just did the little thing down the leaf to help pin it down too. So I think it's just beautiful. But somebody asked this question the other day and it was what colors thread? Well, it's white or one shade off of white. And really it's non, it's a not a big deal. It's a non-issue when it comes to going over the red. Uh, I think red thread, because basically you choose between white or red. I think red would be very, very, um, disarming and not lovely to look at. So, okay. 
Um, somebody else asked, before we get to the next, oh yeah, this is something else I want to show you too. Uh, obviously I did a red binding on it, but I was on C, um, the Bernina, uh, website and they um, see how we sew and there was this stripe binding on here and all if you have like a red and white stripe or a green and white stripe you might consider using that now typically my bindings are cut on straight of grain all right unless the binding has curves in it, like a scallop or something like that. Oh, we also, I'm sorry, I was thinking of my friend's blog. It's we also, they've got really good stuff there. Um, if I have a stripe like this, I would also, I would consider then cutting it on the bias to get this. Otherwise, when I'm doing, um, when I'm doing a straight edged binding, like behind me, I always do it straight a grain and I typically do it cross grain. And that means from salvage to salvage, all right? Uh, but in this case, I, I was surfing there and um, this was cut on the bias. That would make an exception for me. And why do I not always do it on the bias? Well, in the olden days, I didn't have things like um, even feed and stuff like that and i did i did one once because i i've heard back in the day when the dinosaurs roamed the earth that it gives you a stronger edge because the the um, fibers are on like this and not like this so maybe the uh, binding will last longer um but it would get ripply on me so, and I know that's the bias stretching on me, but now with how machines are made and the wonderful features that we all enjoy, um, we can um, we can do it probably much easier. All right. So then I got a, an a query from a person wanting to know how to do light bulbs or where they could get the pattern. This is a quilt of mine um, called, I don't know what it's called, but it is a pattern of mine. <laughs> Flying trees, Christmas trees, I don't know what. I've actually made this three times and I love those little lights, okay? I can't remember, because I just pulled this off the web, whether this was fused or whether this was finished. My guess is that it was fused, but let me give you a little couple little tricks if you wanna say do lights on yours and not the hollies. What I do is I make myself a template. And if you want to know what size template, what you might do so that things are in balance is go up and make sure it is about the size of the leaf. This one actually is a little bit bigger the, this light, but it's okay because it's skinnier. So that's where you're gonna get the scale of this. Uh, if it, if you um, want to get an image that, cause you can't draw one of these things, you can go to Google images and put in Christmas tree bulb lights. And then there'll be a zillion that you can take from. And then you can take it to your copy machine and make it bigger or smaller and get it however you want. But as you know, light bulbs have, let's go back, they have the socket that the bulb screws into. So it's not like this shape is just all green, okay? It's, or all orange or all yellow. My light bulbs have green that matches the cording for the socket and then the colors for the top. So this is how I did this. I went and I sewed a strip of green onto the red, pressed it, and then when I go to put my pattern or my little template on it, I could do it right here and then it alleviates having to applique this part here, okay? And you can do this whether you're doing finished applique, whether you're doing raw edge applique, etc. So that was just a little fast and dirty trick that I uh, wanted to throw by your way. Super easy, super easy. And I will bet my bottom dollar that that thing was fused. And speaking of that, uh, Mid to late January, we'll be starting um, applique always. And that's what I'm hiding over here, wait, over there. 
Um, I, you're, I'm going to give you a pattern and you're going to be able to do with applicate any way you want. I don't care, but I'm going to go through all the different techniques that I know in applicane except needle turn because I hate it and I never learned it. And if you hate applique, and I'm going to be saying this a bunch, okay? If you hate applique, it's because you haven't found the kind that fits you. It's like if you hate your bathing suit or your underwear, you haven't found the right one, okay? So hopefully when I go through all this stuff, you can find the one you love and then just make this pattern or experiment with different things too. Okay, so here is what I want you to know that's going on for the next three days at 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time, all right? Really, get your pencil and or Actually, I'll probably put this on my Facebook Live too. But anyways, Quilters Select is having an event for you tomorrow at 10 o'clock Pacific. You do not need to pre-register. That became a huge fiasco in the last two events. And what we're going to be doing are working with hexes, okay? I showed, oh, let me go grab. Let me see if it's right here. I showed what I've been doing with hexes here. I'll show you right here and then I'll, oh, well, first of all, I want you to write down, this is where you're going to find it. Quilters select classroom dot com slash forward slash quilt show forward slash. The quilt show dot com is not hosting this. Your shipment will be coming from, um, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee from the headquarters of Quilters Select, actually the family of um, R&K Distributing. If you have um, five, we are uh, giving $5 off on, on, I think it's $5 on shipping is what's gonna be, but if you spend over 200, it's free shipping, okay? And what Amy's gonna be teaching are fun things that you can do with hexes. I mean, this is something you guys still have time to knock out, all right? Uh, how I did this was I did the quilting before, and then I did the machine. I prepared the hexes, and then I machine applicated it down. I believe I used a monopoly thread, and then I put on little crystals. So if you need a little last-minute gift, um, Amy will be showing you how to do that. Again, it is not at the quilt show. It is not on Facebook. You go to this place, quilterselectclassroom.com forward slash quilt show forward slash. You know what? I will put it on my Facebook, okay? And then um, Friday at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific, Barbara Black is going to give a intro to the 2021 thequiltshow.com uh, block of the month by Wendy Williams. Barbara has shepherded us through the last several block of the months, and she is an incredible resource for information. So I will not be here Friday, but Barbara Black will be here Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, to get you started on the 2021 a B O M. We are getting more kits in. They sold out like snap. Okay. Uh, they'll be getting in, um, early January. If, if, I mean, like, I think they've been shipped. Okay. So who knows with, you know, the shipping with everything that it is and all of that, you know, cause now we're contending with, you know, the, um, inoculation and all that. So shipping has gone cray cray right now. But anyways, um, if you are interested in getting this kit, you will go to thequiltshow.com, go into the store, and there's a banner where you can get put on the wish list. This does not guarantee you um, anything. What it guarantees is that we will get hold of you when we can take orders. All right. It is a pretty spectacular quilt. I have it in my house and Wendy, you knocked it out of the ballpark. And just so you don't, so, so you know, this is our Barbara Black and this is Becky Goldsmith's quilt that, that was our BOM. So this is our shepherd. Think of a shepherd with a crook. Okay. <laughs> She's getting us through this. Okay. 
So Thursday, you've got the event. Friday, you have Barbara Black. And then Saturday, we have um, at 10 o'clock, Dee's Saturday Samplers, and she's going to be talking about piecing curves. And that will be right here where you're at right now. All right? So we have a lot for you, but wait, there's more. Next Monday, we are going to have a holiday party. Okay. And again, it's here right where we're at. Uh, we're going to find out who is getting the money for the food bank in their area. And so that's very excited. Exciting. If you want to go to GoFundMe, get your chance in uh, right now. Uh, why isn't that coming up? That's weird. Oh, because I got to get rid of this other one. Where's John when you need him? Go to GoFundMe. Oh, this was the first day. Well, I think we're up to about 15000 I am unbelievably excited. And uh, whoever's name we pull, the money will go to whichever food bank they designate. And wait, there's more. Maybe there's a quilt that might be traveling to their house. But you have to put your name. You have to put your name, okay? Um, we cannot do giveaways on GoFundMe. So um, maybe someone will just get a gift. Just putting it up there. And then also, uh, okay, so back to our virtual party. Um, I have a surprise guest coming. There will be a little entertainment for your pleasure. And also, we are going to do some giveaways. So... Then on Wednesday, the party will continue as we tell you who won the giveaways. And uh, I'll explain how to do that all on Monday. But in the meantime, uh, here we go. I got my craft Napa box. I'm so excited. Pokey has really done it, you guys. Um, I signed up for three classes. So that means I got a swag bag, which will be in here. And then also the teachers that I'm taking apparently are sending us stuff to play with. So to say, I mean, to say the fact I had to wait means I love you guys because it took everything in me to not just whip this sucker open. Um, I'm, I'm pretty darn sure that Craft Napa will be in real person next year. And it is the highlight of my year. Well, that's not true. I got a lot of highlights. But it's a pretty good highlight. Okay, come on. I don't want to stab myself. Wow, Pokey. Oh, okay, here it goes. All right, we'll skip the. I don't want to do ecam right now. Okay, so here is my welcome letter. That's, I'll read that later. Um, and then I won a door prize. I won a door prize from Sarah Bond. Okay. All right. So here's, here, I want a door prize. Okay. Here's my, here's my um, bag. Oops, I can do it this way. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, and this is from Libby, um, Libby, there we go. Libby um, Williamson. And she I get, oh, I get a kit, a mug, rug, and wine coaster kit. Wonderful. She, oh, she's such a giving teacher, you guys. She's such a giving teacher. Okay, and then there's some stuff from Jennifer Sampu. Oh my gosh, I should have opened this up on Christmas. Look what Libby has prepared for us, for wonky sisters. Look what she has done. She is, oh, such a giving teacher. Oh, I bet that this is my door prize. I bet, I bet, I bet. I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Okay, then we get, oh, okay, little keychain. Actually, I can use that. Okay, and then here's some stuff from Aurafel. Oh, and then look, quilt folk. Woohoo! And then, well, quilters select. I could use another ruler. <laughs> and little handles. Let's see, then I've got, Okay, Global Artisans, and then Wonderfield Thread. Oh, okay, this is good. The Pocket Guide of Needles. Yay, and oh, I love, you know, I love yellow. I'm very, very happy. Oh, 
And then I even got some Apple Pops. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use these when we do our Apple, when we do our Apple K Allway. And actually, I needed one of these so I don't have to go steal from myself. And then look at this beautiful bag. Oh man, Pokey, Pokey, Pokey! You guys did it. You did it. And also, Sarah. Yeah, it is this jelly roll is from Sarah Bond? Okay. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. I feel like I'm showing off, but wow, Pokey, you did it right. So let me get rid of this overlays and see if we have any questions or anything. All right. Okay. Um, is the GoFundMe available to out of country contributions and food banks? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Why not? Yes. Um, and, and I will certainly spring to ship a quilt overseas. Thank you. Um, I know what a great swag bag. There's Patricia. Yay, Pokey. <laughs> I needed this today. I needed this. Like that when he won the leg lamp. Oh God, I gotta go watch that. Okay, about single and double stitching. Double hides the mistakes better if you're not good at keeping the straight part of the stitch right against the raw edge of the fabric. Right, I did not know that. Thank you. Um, Tracy, are you going? I'm telling you, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. So who else am I taking? I am taking Libby. I'm taking Joanne Sharp. I don't know which thing. Um, uh, so Mary, what there, there's another face class. It's at Craft Napa and I'm signed up for it. So, um, and then I'm taking, um, Jenny Lyons and I'm, I did not originally sign up with her because I took her at Craft Napa before and she, um, we, that's when I bought my 765 for Nina. And then uh, Mary Kay, who works with us, said she was taking, and she was in that original class with me, that she was taking Jenny again because then I could sit and work on my Q20. So I, I was able to shift a class and be able to get slide into Jenny Lyons' class. So if you ever, ever, I don't know if she's teaching online virtually, I don't know, but I will tell you right now, she is an excellent, excellent um, machine quilting teacher. And then I skipped over Joanne. You know how much I love Joanne Sharp. And uh, remember, she's got um, a class. She has lots of classes. And so here we go. I'm taking her just because I have to take Joanne. What do you, what do, you do? I just have to take her. The other thing, as an aside, I believe that week, uh, that week we are migrating our new, our old website to the new website. And I told John, um, oh, it's called Art Bites that Joanne's doing. Thanks, thanks, Pokey. It's called Art Bites. Um, I'm kicking John out of the house <laughs> during Craft Napa. <laughs> You've got to have internet up at the cabin. I don't want this. Pokey, I'm going to do my best to pretend like I'm there. All I need is someone to come in and make my bed every morning, just like they do at the hotel. <laughs> this is the highlight of my year. So, um, so go and uh, Google Jenny Lyon, check her out. Uh, smart wife. Yeah. Smart husband. If he leaves, right? He's like, what? <laughs> and then somebody said, well, why don't I go up to the cabin? Because I want my stuff with me, man. I want my stuff, right? So I'm going to scoop back and see if there's anything, anything. Oh, regarding colored ink on labels. Can the ink be heat set with an iron? Um, I think you're going back to what Margot presented on Monday. She did not mention that, but I don't think it could hurt anything. And remember you guys that Margot said only black ink, colored ink will go away on labels and you must use an inkjet, not a laser. Okay, so here we go. Um, what do we do? How do you get to the food drive? Go to gofundme.com, gofundme.com, and, and it's Quilter's Food Drive. Quilter's Food Drive. Okay, so we... Um, 
um, we are all good to go. And um, you guys, you have you have no idea what you mean to me. Um, you have no idea. Um, I get letters that I'm getting you through this. Well, you guys are getting me through this. And it just seems like one shoe keeps dropping after another. And so today is exactly what I needed. I needed to be with you. And I needed my box to open it up. Thank you, Pokey. You're rocking it. Okay. So, okay, guys, have a, um, have a good one. I will, uh, I will be hanging around lurking and stuff like that, but I have to prepare for a party on Monday that I'm throwing. Um, yes, uh, Joanne, I have heard about IQA. Let me just end with this. Um, IQA and Quilts Inc. are two different organizations that are interlocked with each other. And IQA, without having the shows, without having this and that, IQA is the one that... Um, put together a lot of the exhibits for Quilts Inc. They had to sadly close their doors. That was an excruciating letter to get. So, but things are changing, times are changing, and we're just putting one foot in front of another. Hey, Pokey, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. And thank you to the rest of you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.